Lightning is one of nature's most dramatic shows. A sudden flash tears across the sky followed by the rolling boom of thunder. People have always been fascinated by it, but what is actually happening when lightning strikes? To understand, we need to look inside a thunderstorm. Thunder clouds, or cumulonimbus clouds, are towering giants that can stretch more than 10 kilometers high. Inside them, warm air rises while cooler air sinks. This motion throws raindrops, ice crystals, and hailstones into collision. Each impact creates static electricity, like rubbing a balloon on your hair. Over time, billions of tiny interactions charge the cloud, turning it into a massive storehouse of energy. As the storm grows, charges separate. Positive charges gather at the top, while negative charges sink to the bottom. The ground beneath the storm becomes positively charged in response. Imagine stretching a rubber band tighter and tighter. The tension builds until the system can no longer hold and the energy must release. That release begins with a stepped leader, an invisible, branching channel of electrons that snakes downward from the cloud in jagged paths. It moves in small jumps, searching for a connection. Too faint and fast for our eyes, it prepares the way for the strike. At the same time, objects on the ground, trees, buildings, even people, send up tiny sparks of positive charge. When one of these upward streamers meets the descending leader, the circuit is complete. A massive surge of energy races upward, and the sky lights with a brilliant flash. This return stroke is the lightning bolt we see. It lasts only a fraction of a second, but unleashes enormous power. The flash is only half the story. Lightning heats the air in its path to over 20,000 degrees Celsius, far hotter than the sun's surface. The sudden heat makes the air expand at explosive speed, creating a shockwave. As it spreads outward and slows down, we hear it as thunder. The delay between flash and boom shows how far away the storm is. Every three seconds of delay equals about one kilometer. Not all lightning is the same. The familiar type is cloud to ground. But lightning can also leap from cloud to cloud, stretching for many kilometers. There is sheet lightning when the whole sky glows because the strike is hidden behind clouds. And in rare cases, lightning shoots upward into the upper atmosphere, forming spectacular red or blue shapes called sprites and jets. As beautiful as it is, lightning is dangerous. A single strike can be deadly. That is why meteorologists stress one rule, when thunder roars, go indoors. The safest place is a solid building or a car. Tall trees, flagpoles, or metal objects increase the risk. Respecting lightning is the best way to enjoy its beauty safely. So, what causes lightning? In simple terms, it is nature's way of balancing electrical imbalances between clouds and the ground. Countless collisions inside a storm build tension like a stretched rubber band until it snaps with a brilliant flash and a rumble of thunder. The next time you see lightning streak across the sky, you'll know the science behind it and feel awe at the power of nature.